Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to use the ABX picker for Maya together with the Malcolm rig uh, which is provided by NM School. So firstly you're going to go in and register and download the, the files needed. You're going to then get um, an ABX picker version file and then you're going to um, unpack whatever you need. This one is for 2011, this one is for previous I think. I've got 2012 so I'm just using the 2011. Now if you go into the folder specified here into the scripts folder inside your document you will copy the ABX picker and the image file. You copy those into the script. So afterwards go into the Malcolm folder and you take the image file and go into your project folders images and then you just copy that over into your scene file you copy in the Malcolm and the Malcolm uh, picker file now to use the ABX picker you need to use a mill command and you get that one off the NM school website too and it's this one here if you just copy that and go into Maya, if you go into your Mel editor, you can see I've already got here. I'm just going to redo it. So just copy that in. If you highlight it, middle click, and then drag it up to your shelf, it will make a shelf button. And then you just click it and it starts it up. So, but before we can use that, um, we're going to have to reference the Malcolm file and then import the Malcolm picker. So file, create reference into the Malcolm file. And you've got the Malcolm loaded up. So all the joints are kinda like distracting me, so I just turn off the joints. Now you go in and you import the Malcolm picker file. Right. So if I go in and I switch on the Malcolm picker, you can see it's loaded up. If I then select one of the controllers, it won't work at the moment because we need to do one more thing. As it says here, you need to rename rename one of the files in your outliner to Malcolm. So I'm gonna go into my outliner and as you can see here it's this one Malcolm Picker. What I'm gonna do is just delete the picker. So it's just this Malcolm. I'm gonna close down the picker and then I'm gonna relaunch it. Now if I click controller you can see it works. So that's basically what you need to get ready to start animating with this guy. Um, I'm going to show you one thing about how to do a switch between AK, uh, IK and FK. So let's say I've got my leg using the IK into this position and I now want to switch from IK to FK. So what I need to do is move the controllers but the guys at NM School have cleverly already build this in so all you need to do is press a single button so what I want to do is switch from IK to FK so here there's a button called IK to FK I click that one and still having the IK controller selected go into the IK parameter and then I just go zero now if I select one of the FKs it works in a in FK and if I want to switch back and I want to switch from FK to IK so I click from FK to IK and then I go in and then I select the parameter first one and it's now back in IK and it's the same thing for the arm when you load the file up the, the arm comes 
uh, in FK. So if you want to be able to use it in IK, you switch or you select the IK controller and you just basically switch that to one and you're set to go. And now you can start animating with that in in IK2. And it's the same thing for doing the switch. So if you are if you have your arm in this position and you want to switch from IK to FK, you just click the button. Still have the IK controller selected. Switch IK to zero and you now have FK. So that's a little introduction to how to get it up and running. Uh, I hope some of you can use this and happy animating.